In this video, I'll show you how to do a nifty one-handed cut. It looks something like this. And uh, this cut is especially nice because it can also be used to do a hot shot cut, which I have already taught in the past. I'll link you to that video on the screen here and in the description box down below. In that video, I showed you a different one-handed cut, but this is an alternate cut that you can use to also do the hot shot cut. Before I get into the tutorial, I want to let you guys know that the channel has a new sponsor. It's Harry's. You can check them out at harrys.com. And uh, basically, they're disrupting the shaving industry. Uh, most of the people watching this channel are guys. So if you are shaving and you're kind of fed up with spending a bunch of money at the grocery store on razor blades and all that, for 15 bucks, uh, Harry's will send you a really nice razor blade uh, with a metallic handle and everything, high quality stuff some shaving cream, and uh, and some spare blades. So they'll ship it to your door, free shipping. And the best part is if you use the discount code 52cards, you get $5 off. So all this for $10, really great deal. And uh, you know you can save yourself a trip to the store. So check them out at harrys.com and use that coupon code 52cards. Okay, so here's how you do the cut. You're gonna start in your left hand grip, mechanics grip and you're going to move to an elevated position like this. Okay, so to do that, uh, your pinky is going to move from the right edge of the deck to the back edge of the deck, so you just bring it back like this, and then you're going to extend your first finger and your pinky. Okay, so you're now gripping the deck between your pinky and your first finger. As you extend them, you can raise them up like this. So this is very similar to the beginning of a Charlier cut. Okay, and uh, next step is you're going to let about half of those cards fall into your left hand palm. Okay, so up until now, it's exactly like a Charlier cut. Here's where uh, the difference comes in. So the next step is with your thumb, you're going to kind of uh, revolve this top packet clockwise. Okay, so you kind of bring it out like this. You're gonna revolve that packet clockwise to the point where you can bring your first finger to the outer left corner of that packet, okay? Once you've done that, you're mainly gripping the pack between your first finger and your middle finger, okay? And then you're going to start to extend your first finger further revolving that packet clockwise as you bring your thumb in between those two packets. And then you're going to bring it all the way over until it reaches the bottom right corner of that packet. Okay, so at this point, your thumb is gonna take over the grip as your middle finger kind of releases. Okay, it's kind of hard to do slowly, so these cards might become a little bit messy. But eventually, you're going to let go with your middle finger, and you're going to be holding this packet with just your first finger and your thumb. Okay, next step is there, there's, I guess, three main points of contact at this point. There's your thumb at the left edge of the top packet, your first finger at the right edge of the top packet. And it's also the first, keep in mind, the first finger is also supporting the outer edge of the bottom packet. And you have your pinky, which is supporting the back edge of the bottom packet. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going you're gonna to continue to revolve this top packet with your thumb. And look at what happens. I'm using my middle finger and my ring finger to kind of press down on the right edge of this bottom packet. And that causes it to pivot up which is going to help these two packets clear one another. Right there, they just cleared. Once those packets clear, you kind of duck your first finger underneath and in between those two packets. And then with my pinky, I kind of push this packet outwards, allowing those two packets to line up again. Okay, now the reason why this cut is especially good for the uh, hot shot cut is because you end with your first finger in between the two packets. So now if I wanted to, I could use the pad of my first finger to angle that, you know, the bottom card of this, what is now the top packet out, and then do the hot shot cut from there. Okay, I won't talk about that in detail in this video. You can check the hot shot cut video for that. Um, but if you don't want to do the hot shot cut, then once you're in this position, you're just going to duck your first finger out of there, and then you're going to square up. Okay, so there's kind of a lot going on there. You might have to rewatch that a few times to get all of the uh, all of the finger positions, but let me go over it once more uh, uh, just to make sure you you uh, understand. So you go from 
mechanics grip to elevated grip, drop half the cards, pivot this um, top pack at 360, or um, clockwise, excuse me, pivot it clockwise until your first finger can contact the outer left corner, um, grip it between first finger and middle finger, duck your thumb underneath, bring it to the bottom right corner, release with your middle finger, take over with your thumb, continue to revolve it out, use your left hand finger's hair, your middle ring, and even your pinky sometimes can be used to pull that packet so that it levers upwards. Those two packets are gonna clear, you start to bring it back, and then you bring your first finger out as you square up. So at speed, it looks something like this. And let me do it once in slow motion for you. Okay, so I hope that helps. I hope you enjoy that cut, and I'll see you next time.